every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. But the Grinch who lived north of Whoville did not. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be that his head wasn't screwed on quite right. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve hating the Who's. Staring down from his cave with the sour Grinchy frown at the warm lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every Who down in Whoville beneath was busy now hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings. He snarled with the sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. Then he growled with his Grinch fingers nervously drumming. I must find a way to keep Christmas from coming. For tomorrow he knew all the Who girls and boys would wake up bright and early. They'd rush for their toys. And then the noise, oh the noise, the noise, noise, noise. That's one thing he hated. The noise, noise, noise. Then the Who's young and old would sit down to a feast. And they'd feast and they'd feast and they'd feast, feast, feast. They would start on Who pudding and rare Who roast beast. Which was something the Grinch couldn't stand in the least. And then they'd do something he liked least of all. Every Who down in Whoville, the tall and the small would stand close together with the Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand hand in hand and the Who's would start singing. They'd sing and they'd sing and they'd sing, sing, sing. And the more the Grinch thought of the Who Christmas thing, the more the Grinch thought, I must stop this whole thing. Why for 53 years I put up with it now. I must stop Christmas from coming to my house. Then he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do, the Grinch laughed in his throat, and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat, and he chuckled and clucked, what a great Grinchy trick, with this coat and this hat, I look just like Saint Nick, all I need is a reindeer, but the Grinch looked around, and since reindeer are scarce, there was none to be found. Did that stop the old Grinch? No, the Grinch simply said, if I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So we called this dog Max, and he took some red thread. Then he tied a big horn on the top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh, and he hitched up old Max. Then the Grinch said, giddy up, and the sleigh started down toward the homes where the Who's lay a snooze in their town. All their windows were dark, quiet snow filled the air. All the Who's were raw dreaming sweet dreams without care. This is stop number one. The old Grinchy Claus hissed and he climbed into the roof. Empty bags in his fist. Then he slid down the chimney. A rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flew where the little Who's stockings all hung in a row. These stockings, he grinned, are the first things to go then he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room and he took every present pop guns bicycles roller skates drums checkerboards tricycles popcorn and plugs and he stuffed them in the bags then the grinch very nimbly stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimney then he slunk in the ice box he took the who's feast he took the who pudding he took the roast beast and he cleaned up that ice box as quick as a flash why that Grinch even took their less can of who hash then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee and now grin the Grinch I will stuff up the tree and the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shove but when he heard a small sound like the coo of a dove he turned around fast and he saw a small who was Cindy Lou who who was not more than two the Grinch had been caught by this little who daughter who got out of bed for a cup of cold water she stared at the Grinch and said Santa Claus why why are you taking our Christmas tree why but you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick he thought up a lie and he thought it up quick why my sweet little top the fake Santa Claus lied there's a light on this tree that won't light on one side so I'm taking it home to my workshop my dear I'll fix it up there then I'll bring it back here and his fib fooled the child then he patted her head and he got 
got her a drink and he sent her to bed and when Cindy Lou Who went to bed with her cup he went to the chimney and stuffed the tree up then the last thing he took was the log for their fire then he went up the chimney himself that old liar and the one speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse then he did the same thing to the other whose house is leaving crumbs much too small for the other whose mouse is it was quarter past dawn all the who's still a bed all the who's still a snooze when he packed up his sled packed it up with their presents the ribbons the wrappings the tags and the tinsel the trimmings the trappings three thousand feet up up the side of mount crumpet he rode to the very tip top to dump it poo poo to the who's he was grinchishly humming they're finding now now that no christmas is coming they're just waking up I know just what they'll do Their mouths will hang open a minute or two Then all the who's down in Whoville will all cry Boo hoo, boo hoo That's a noise grin the Grinch that I simply must hear So we paused in the Grinch, put a hand to his ear And he did hear a sound rising over the snow It started in low, then it started to grow But the sound wasn't sad, why? This sound sounded merry It couldn't be so, but it was merry, very He stared down at Whoville, the Grinch popped his eyes Then he shook, what he saw was a shocking surprise Every Who down in Whoville, the tall and the small Was singing without any presents at all He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming Nope, it came, somehow or another it came Just the same, and the Grinch with his Grinch feet Ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling How could it be so? It it came without ribbons, it came without tags, it came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled three hours till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light and he brought back the toys and the food for the feast and he himself the grinch carved the roast beast